guys, if you aren't watching college baseball right now, then what are you doing? Because the story surrounding Notre Dame is actually kind of awesome. If you don't know what's going on in the college baseball scene, let me fill you in real quick. Alright, so Notre Dame and Tennessee baseball may have just been involved in one of the most thrilling series in super regional history. And in the first game of the series, Blake Tidwell would step on the mound for Tennessee. And let me tell you, the boy got raked on very early. I'm talking pounded. Like, he gave up one home run in each of the first three innings. And by the end of the third, the score of the game was 5-1, to one, with Notre Dame leading. And things didn't get easy for Tennessee, because when they headed into the fourth inning, they brought in Will Mabry as relief. Which didn't help much, because Notre Dame finished the fourth, leading 8-2, to two, and eventually won the game by two runs. And after less than a day's rest, Tennessee would have to walk into Knoxville with a new plan. And that was to have a sophomore, Chase Dollander, on the bump. Which seemed to be smart as hell because the SEC Pitcher of the Year went out there and did his thing for seven great innings. And while he pitched for those innings, the offense was booming for Tennessee. Especially in the fifth, where the Volunteers were able to rake in four home runs in the inning alone which was clutch for the team since they took game two easily with a 12 to 4 win and before we talk about the last game of the series that decides it all how about we take a quick pause to smash that like button while clicking subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of the newest videos all right let's get back to it all right but for real i think we need to talk about how these two teams got here before we just jump into the third game in Tennessee's case, they had just won the most games in a season in team history with a record of 56-7. and seven. And a huge reason for this was Tony Vitello, who took over as the 24th head coach in Tennessee history all the way back in 2018. Where the first season he was in charge, the squad ended with a pretty rocky record of 29-27 and 6th place in the SEC East. But after the first year, Mr. Viteo, Vitelli or Viteo, whatever, really got things going with the Volunteers since he had the team winning 40 plus games every year beside the COVID year and finished first place in the SEC East in these last two previous years. Though, even with the 50 win season back in 2021, they struggled in the playoffs by only getting seventh place in the College World Series. Which isn't bad, but it's also not College World Series champions, you know? And in the case of Notre Dame, well, they may not have had as many wins this season with a record of 40 and 15, but they sure as hell did have heart. I mean, talk about a team who's been through the ups and downs of it all. They literally got a new head coach in Link Jarrett around the 2020 COVID era. And after a few years of being interfered with by a disease or whatever, they were able to kick ass for most of this season and are now oh so very close to the College World Series appearance, their first since 2002. By being able to beat teams like the six-seeded Miami in the regular season and Texas Tech twice in the Statesboro Regional, it this season's looking really good. So now that we're all caught up with everyone's backstories, let's get into the heavily anticipated third game. Notre Dame, Notre Dame chose Liam Simo to start on the mound, while Tennessee went with good old Chase Burns, who's a 2022 Collegiate Baseball Freshman All-American and 2022 Collegiate Baseball All-American third team. So to sum that up, He's a really, really good freshman pitcher. This guy's a straight stud. Anyway, after only half an inning, we get our first score of the game, with Tennessee knocking in a single homer very early. But after that, the next few innings went pretty smooth, smoothly for both teams, with only a few more runs being knocked in by the Volunteers. And by the end of the fifth, 
the score was just 3-1 to one with Tennessee leading. So you'd think, uh, pretty boring game, right? Wrong. Because the top of the seventh came around, where Notre Dame was up to bat. And Tennessee made the biggest mistake of any college teams, any college baseball team, by leaving their starter out there for just a little too long. I mean, we've all seen that before, right? We leave the starter, and then five, six, seven innings in, he just starts getting tired and struggling, and it's like, well, when do we pull this guy? And that's what happened with Tennessee, basically. They left in Chase Burns a little too long, and, well, he got burned. Because he gave up a total of three runs in one inning. And the bleeding didn't stop for Tennessee, because in the very next inning, they would give up another three runs with a few errors on defense. And after that was all said and done, Notre Dame was leading 7-3, which is exactly how the game would end. That's right, Notre Dame had finally made it to the College World Series for the first time in 20 years, which is just like so old, you know, because 20 years is like a lifetime. I can't wait to see how they perform versus... Hold on, let me check. Oh, that's right. Texas. Wait. These guys are fucked. 